What's going on YouTube? Well, the other night, the stars aligned, and Mike Nagoda and myself got together on Zoom and had a pretty kick-ass time. We spent a few hours geeking about history. Turns out Mike knows a lot. In fact, he's actually an expert in Latin. Who would have thunk it, right? There we were, he's reading me Dr. Seuss in Latin. He even showed me a few excerpts from Lord of the Rings in Latin. We're talking about religious history, you name it. And I definitely know there's two kinds of people in this world. There's the kind on one hand who are just heard everything I said and are like, wow, that's incredible. And the other half, they're like, that is ridiculous. Why would anybody do that? There's really nobody in between. But needless to say, Mike and I had a great time. And I can't wait to do it again. But one of the coolest things we did was start to share some of our favorite music with each other. I introduced him to one of my favorite bands, Brothers of Metal. So make sure you head on to his channel and check that out as well. In fact, if you haven't subscribed to Mike Nagoda yet, you really need to. If you enjoy it when people break down music to like its molecular level and it makes you understand why you love the music you love, then Mike is your man. If you like really short videos where somebody just kind of nods and bobs their head, then honestly, you have no business being here either, um, but he won't be your kind of reactor as well. And he also does some pretty cool original stuff, shreds some solos, reads chapters from The Hobbit, just really cool content. So go check him out. I'm going to post his page and a link to that video in the description here. But as far as this video goes, he wanted to introduce me to his favorite band, or at least in his top three, named Clutch. And as you'll see in the video, yeah, they're a pretty impressive band. And the first thing I wanted to do was like compare them to somebody, and I couldn't quite do it. I, I think I said Primus, which is, which is terrible. Honestly, don't know what the hell I was. I couldn't even explain it. But shortly after getting off the line with him, I realized... I just heard a song by Monster Magnet, which is incredibly similar to Clutch. In fact, the more music I listen to from Monster Magnet, very similar styles, but very unique styles nonetheless. So anyways, enough blabber, because there's enough blabber in the video coming up here too. Oh, and also, if you're on the Reactive Side Discord, or if you're a Nightwish fan or whatever, we actually do talk a little bit. I kept some of the banter about Nightwish and the Nightwish Army and a few other things that you'll probably enjoy. So without further ado, here is part of Mike and I hanging out the other night. So what's going on, YouTube? So um, I'm just here kind of hanging out with my friend, Mike Nagoda, who is also a YouTube content creator. And we're just kind of like chatting and sharing music. And he said that I should check out Clutch, um, specifically a quick death in Texas. So anything you want to warn me about or... What do we got? Um, so Clutch are a very interesting band. They formed in 1990. They're from Maryland. Um, and they started out as a hardcore band, like a punk band almost. And they started out in like the stoner hardcore scene. And since then, they've almost morphed into like a blues metal band that's the closest way i can describe their current phase um they're awesome their lead singer neil fallon he sounds like a baptist preacher singing in a metal band he's awesome i've seen them like okay. live tw twice now they're great so cool. okay this is a, this is your first time getting into clutch so i'm excited for you yeah never even heard of them so this is off their, uh, not their latest release, but the, their, the release before the, the last one, uh, Psychic Warfare. Um, and yeah, this is a quick death in Texas. Okay. And we'll, wait, what are the fans called? You say like gear, gearheads? Gearheads. Clutch fans are called gearheads. Okay. And so the band is comprised of Neil Fallon on vocals, Tim Salt on guitar, uh, Jean-Paul Gaster on drums, and Dan Maines on bass. Okay, a little camera malfunction I missed just a tiny bit. So uh, let's, let's go here. Thrilled. He was the chief. 
Okay. So I, I see what you're talking about, man. Like, yeah. And I know yeah. why you like these guys knowing what I know about you. It's that groove, right? It's you that just, groove. Yep. It's, it's, it's the groove. And for me, it's the groove. It's the bluesiness of it. It's also the way that they write their tunes and the way they write their riffs. There's just, there's just something really fucking badass and awesome about clutch <laughs> that just makes me go like, fuck yeah. Right. Yeah, so you, you can't argue with this music in any way, shape or form, man. Yeah. Yeah. And the guy's voice, you could tell the guy's voice, crazy range and really cool. Yeah. Yeah, preacher vibes. I'm getting it. Please forgive me, Mr. Gibbons. Mr. Gibbons. I caught my way to the doom saloon. In an attempt to cause a The bartender there is drunk. I did a terrible job And they became powerfully infected I found myself atop a stolen road Quite convinced that I would never see home And all on account of my lack of common manners Okay, I bet we're gonna have a solo here soon, right? What did you say about John Paul or something? John Paul Gaster is their drummer. He was the okay. bartender in that scene. Oh, gotcha. the band is playing various roles throughout the the music video as they as they usually do. Um, cool. I do. Clutch tends to get a little bit silly and creative in their music videos. Dude, it's a well made um, video too. Yeah. Shot well. Yeah. Yeah. Of course, is looking at me. He looks kind of concerned. I used to ride horses actually when I was really young. Um, <laughs> he looks the horse does look concerned. No, this is cool though. Very cool. You know, I'm thinking I have nothing to compare this to. You know, normally you hear something for the first time, you're like, oh yeah, I'm getting a little hint of this and that. I got I got nothing. Clutch sounds like clutch. Clutch is clutch. I... <laughs> yeah, clutch is clutch. I, I mean, there are people who have like compared them to like other stoner bands, like say Caius, or uh, like early stuff, like their early stuff, like Prong and stuff like that. But um, I still say they said they still sound like them. At some point, I should play you early clutch. It sounds it sounds nothing like this. It sounds more punky, like right or something it's, like that. It's, it's like Neil is like screaming. He's like screaming and yelling and it's really harsh vocals and it's completely freaking different from this. It does a little more mature. Yeah. 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 I like the little. Oh, the cowbell. That's quite cowbell, yeah. That's a common group. There it is, yeah. I just want to go back this 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 melody that's that's kind of underneath here this uh yeah. guitar groove I guess this is cool or whatever. Yeah. all right yeah this is cool I was expecting it like a solo but this is more like a bridge almost yeah Cool. I will say Tim Salt likes some quite some really badass riffs. Sex! Oh, 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 oh
Nice. Yeah. Man, that was a hell of a groove there. Yeah. Well, they're good. They're, they're a great band. I'm glad you like them. Yeah. Very cool. Very cool. Yeah, yeah. Like I said, I can't. Now, are they normally um like is is that Wild West kind of theme there, or is this just kind of like this one song? Oh no, that's just that one song. I mean, uh, Neil Fallon, their vocalist, who also writes the lyrics. Neil's got an MA in English literature, so he's a very he's he's a very smart guy, um, and he writes about everything, and he's got this amazing sense of humor. Um, there's a great song off their second record, uh, the more punky stuff, called "I Have the Body of John Wilkes Booth," and <laughs> it's about this guy who finds John Wilkes Booth's body. Uh, in the Chesapeake River, and then he goes and sells it on the black market for a whole bunch of money. It's so surreal. Neil is like one of the greatest storytellers in rock and roll. He just comes up with all these ridiculous stories, and I love the guy. And he's he's amazing live. He, he, he I've seen them live twice now, and he's like in his mid forties. Like he's almost fifty now. I don't know how he maintains the energy that he does on stage. He, he, he's just, you have to see it because like the, 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 the music video doesn't do it justice. He's just this, he's, he's, he's amazing. He is like utterly captivated and amazing. Um, I think he's one of the best frontmen in all of rock and roll, in my opinion, so. That's cool. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I guess the closest thing that comes to my mind is like Primus almost. Prime um, is interesting. Well, only because of the, you know, again, this is the only thing I've seen, you know, the Wild West kind of thing, but just kind of like mashing things together. And, you know, you got a frontline person who just is, you know, I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, no, not sound wise for sure. But I'm just thinking yeah. like, you know, this guy's presence and, and all that stuff. Yeah. It's super cool, man. I really want to play you early clutch now because it sounds nothing like this. It just, just, just for like the, uh, the kind of like uh, back and forth kind of thing. Yeah. The contrast. The yeah. contrast. Well, here, yeah. Let's listen. What, what else? What is the, the new I have one? The bo- the one? I have the body of John Wilkes Booth. You want live yeah. or? No, no, no. You want the studio for the difference in sound. This is off the self-titled record. This one here? Yeah. Like Marlon Brando. Who's that? Bigger. It still has kind of that same groove, though. Vocals are very different. They are, absolutely. This is all about John Wilkes Booth. This is about the guy finding the corpse of John Wilkes Booth. Oh, okay. I don't see captions. Damn it. Neil's early vocals too they're different he obviously doesn't like he can sing like this but he doesn't anymore right because he doesn't want to ruin his voice (laughs) 
Yeah, but you you definitely hear that that blues element in both, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Really, really heavy. Yeah. yeah, and you can also hear in the earlier stuff here, you hear things like the harmonic minor and the flat two. Okay. A little bit of a darker sound. You ever heard a John Spencer blues explosion? No. I'm catching a little of that with this. So nice. very, yeah, definitely very, different. very different from the other tune. Definitely. Um, still cool. Still feel that same groove, that same inspiration, you know, that yeah. bluesy. Yeah, I guess Super that's cool. always been sort of, sort of been in their music. Um, it's just that they, they used to have more of a harder edge to them. I think you were right when they said, when you said the first song sounds more mature. Mm -hmm. That's how I describe it, too. You could hear that. Definitely. Yeah. Yeah. John Spencer Blues Explosion. So I remember seeing them live and it's like the singer is singing into a, like an old repurposed telephone that was made into a microphone. And another okay. guy's playing on like, so he's got like a hubcap over here and like a garbage can lit over here, you know, and, but it was the same groove and it was a lot of screaming into that goofy microphone. And it just reminded me of, of that a little bit. You know, we, cool. we always, always try to, piece together like oh it sounds like really cool man so yeah. is this one of you, this one of your favorite bands yeah yeah they you know these guys are in my top three like they, oh, like nice uh they are yeah they're like in my number three spot after like pink floyd and deep purple that's like my that's like my top three um so and, yeah i remember when he did the uh, high hopes the high hopes cover which yeah. I know we're recording, but I'm not going to put this on. it. I do yeah. not like that cover of High Hopes. High Hopes is one of my favorite songs. Well, High Hopes is one of my favorite songs by Pink Floyd. I do not like Nightwish's cover of Pink of High Hopes. It took me a while to actually like it and get used to it and understand what the what they were going for. Yeah, I like it. For me, I much prefer the original, but I still but I still like Night, Night, Nightwish's tribute to it. Well, it's. So for me, the biggest things I love about that song, number one, are the 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 hammer bell, bing, yeah, yeah how, and that is so brilliant because it's it, you hear that tone, and it's an offbeat to the beat. So like when it comes on, it always yeah. plays with you. So that's neat. And then that's very simple, ding 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 ding. If they would have recreated that, I think it would have been better. But instead, he does kind of like a dee -dee 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 like on the keys. He does like a yeah. quick thing instead of just the regular old, you know, I don't know for that. For me, yeah, that, that killed it. Well, I didn't really feel that, but OK, like I miss the bells. I definitely miss the bells at the beginning yeah. and I really miss the laugh steel solo at the end. Obviously. Yes. Yes. Um, I think Mike Gilmore is my one of my favorites. He's got to be oh, your favorite, too, if that's your favorite band. Yeah. No, he, he's 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 definitely in like my top three of guitarists he was a definite early oh his voice is just voice. hypnotic 
I think the best version of High Hopes would be if you took all the music from the Pink Floyd version and just had Marco's vocals. On That's top. what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Like, just throw his vocals on it, make it a little grittier, maybe, but keep the yeah. same formula. That was my yeah, problem. Keep the same formula. Have Gilmore do the backing vocals, and they would be perfect. Um, <laughs> all right. Or Floor. Let Floor do the backing vocals. I don't know. Floor do the backing vocals. A little more vodka. Floor Damn. doing backing vocals. Is that even allowed? Yes. Which is you that, haven't seen is Islander it? yet. You'll like Islander. Okay. Maybe that should be your Fair next enough. I wish song. No, I I, I'm I'm following Gabriel's fucking list. <laughs> fucking Gabriel. <laughs> I'm following his list. He's um the, the envoy of the Nightwish Army. Yeah. <laughs> I swear to God, when they told me when I did that first video, <laughs> when I did that uh, when I did that first video, and they were like, "You must wait for instructions from a man named Gabriel," and I said, "What is this? A fucking like nineteenth century mystery cult? What is this shit?" Dude, that was my first experience in meeting you, right? And that's the weird yeah. thing, right? We do our shit, and then people meet us at different times. When I met you, you were freaking out because you're like, um. I just met the Nightwish Army and, you know, and I've always thought of doing a satire where I, I satire covering Ghost Love Score and then sh- and at the very end show my next video where I'm like all disheveled. I'm like, well, holy shit, my uh, subs just went from 500 to like 3000 and uh, I got attacked last night and this Nightwish Army, and, you know, I've always thought of doing something like that. And then here you are doing the same fucking thing, being like, um, I just got attacked by a cult. Um <laughs> It was great, man. I think that was Tank. Me and Tank are probably the ones that talk the most on that Discord. We're always fucking with each other. Fair enough. He's the yeah. fellow who plays bass, yeah? Mm-hmm. He's got the big giant beard. Which, if you fast forward through all of his videos, you'll watch his beard grow. Because in the beginning, it was short. And now he just <laughs> he's let it go. Have you guys actually met in person? No. No, but I was one of his original like subs and Patreons. Like I follow him from the beginning because you know, because he gotcha. gets into the shit like you. I, I I enjoy people who get into it, break stuff down. You know, yeah. Yeah, there was a band you wanted to introduce me to, wasn't there? Well, there was Unleash the Archers. That was a big one. No, you mentioned it in Instagram today, and you you showed me this email you got from this band. And I didn't oh. know who the fuck. Who the yes. fuck they were, and you yes. said we have to change that. Yes, you want to check them out? Yeah, sure. I'd okay. love to. Yeah. So, in my opinion, and I'd love to, to to hear your opinion on their songwriting abilities. To be honest with you, so um, do you want to take control? Yeah.